Hey there everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of Let's Play Borderlands 3. So we're heading to the lumber yard, or the lumber hold. Oh, okay, so I could just go this way. Wasn't sure if I could just walk this way, because it, it, it had this thing over there. All right, oopsie daisy. Let's see. What do we got? Why am I climbing so fast? Jesus. I will take that. But yeah, this is actually my first episode recording since I've gone back from vacation. So, um, today is Sunday. So you guys should be seeing Let's Play No Man's or Let's Chill No Man's Sky right now. I don't see what's over here. I knew there was a thing. treats us right there and make sure we got steady work and steady pay i myself grab the finest jacob stocks out of the lumber we procure right here in our own backyard it's a simple life that much is true but it's a good one why just the other day i took my cousin out fishing jacob style oh boy we shot a whole boatload of fish that day gotta enjoy the little things now yes indeedy if you don't mind the saurians and jabbers and poisonous snakes and rabid mosquitoes and pervasive foot rot eating six is a paradise uh-huh, that's a lot of things to be worried about, my guy. But yeah, so, this first episode Fire that I've... through there and find a way up to those shipping cranes. There must be a loading dock up there somewhere. Let's try that again, for the fifth time. This is the first episode I've been able to record since I've gotten back. Happy now? And you're dead. It's on now. Why are there so many of you? Barely worth the sweat. Hi. There we go. But yeah, now that I've actually gotten my recording groove back, what I'm going to do. Oh, hey. No, you're not. You're going to die right here, buddy. What I'm going to try and do is go ahead and record because I'm off. Uh, I don't remember what day I'm actually off now. There we go. Take that. I know I'm off one of these days. I'm going to try to record as much as I can so that, that way I can stay ahead of the game. But I do have a slight update for what I'll be recording as well. I want to try to switch it up a little bit. So I'm going to add some games into the lineup to mix it up a bit. No. You die. Stop. Oh yeah, so the plan for the lineup that I was thinking was I do one episode a day of each of my regular Let's Plays. So Monday is still going to be Borderlands, Tuesday is still going to be, uh, right now my Tuesday is going to be, um, what is my Tuesdays right now? Final Fantasy VII. And Wednesday is going to be Code Vein. And then I repeat that Thursday being Monday and, you know keeping with that same cycle Ooh, more money what I want to change it up to though is Monday Tuesday Wednesday is one game and Thursday is going to be uh, I was debating between either making a funny edit video kind of like what I did with uh, um, the invading executioner because I like doing that that was actually kind of fun so I was contemplating doing that on Thursdays where it's like, hey, Thursday's not going to be a, a full episode kind of thing. It's just going to be something short, something meme -y. And then Fridays would be, hey, it's not that. Fridays would be a secondary let's chill, possibly. Not just for No Man's Sky, but I was thinking 
of using perhaps uh Maple Story. Which I know most people be like, wait, why Maple Story that name? Well, I actually used to play Maple Story a lot, but actually been itching to play it again. And stop it. I just recently re-downloaded the game onto uh, my, new, my computer, which I'm still building the new one. I'm just haven't had the chance to yet. Uh, so I'm probably gonna get the parts piecemeal, unlike what I wanted to just get them all at once. There we go. And then as soon as that's up and running, I'll have pictures posted up and I'll probably have a whole video on me building the computer itself. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. Um, I'm gonna have, for sure, I wanna do something like Let's Chill Maple Story. And I'll probably start a brand new character just to go from the ground up. Because I noticed a lot of the story has changed. Crystalline the worlds have changed. Too tough to punch. Stop it. There we go. And, you know, my, my one character that's like level 140 something, I don't wanna go ahead and take him out. And then, you know, just decimate everything and then get stuck doing the easier stuff. Or get stuck doing stuff that takes like, you know, two, three, four days to get done. So rather than do all that, I figured, hey, a brand new character, good start. I could do, you know, 10, 20 levels an episode. And then, you know, that's how I get my Let's Chill Maple Story thing started. I don't want it to be a, a speed run through all of Maple Star. I just want to, you know, have a, a fun experience. It won't be more than like 20 to 25 minutes if you play for that. Uh, no Man's Sky for sure is still going to be uh, there we go. that 30 to 40 minute game of just exploring space. But at the moment, and this is what you'll see, or well, what you would have seen yesterday, is the fact that it's bugged. And I can't get the thing that I need to actually progress the uh, story. So it makes me kind of annoyed because I want to finish the story, but I can't finish it because of that exact reason. And also, Play just said something I was not oh, paying attention. Take it and die. Thank you. Alright, now that I got all this. I would like some ammo back though. Ooh, cryo and shock. That's nice. Alright, but yeah, so that that's the general plan I have going on. I might add in a meme video in there. It'll be like a two or three minute video. Then I'll have, you know, let's chill Maple Story. Who are you? Devout Fanatic? You're dead. No. There we go. But yeah, so what I plan on doing is doing the chill stuff, doing some serious stuff. And what I will definitely do though is I'll probably make my videos a lot shorter. I'll probably end up making my videos only 15 to 20 minutes long. So, you know, no more code vein one and a half hour kind of let's plays. But what I do want to attempt. Bet it's quite a few up there. Oh. Now you may be on your way to a hell of wow. a prison I... island, but that don't mean you can't appreciate the little things, you know? You'll have to excuse Ty. She's uh, not used to sharing the spotlight. You see, when we were growing up, our parents never let her out of their sight. Tyrene would leech anything she could get her hands on. <laughs> Then our mom died. Uh, that one's sort of on Tyreen. But after that, our dad decided we could never leave his side. Uh, he never said it, but he saw Tyreen as a monster. And I was just a freak, by the way. But we left him and came to Pandora. What that old turd didn't get is that these days, a freak with an echo stream can be a star. Uh huh. But yeah, like I was trying to mention earlier is the code vein stuff will definitely still be happening. I just don't want it to be, oh, you're playing code vein. And then it's, you know, an hour long footage that I boil down to 40 minutes. If I'm going to do that, I might as well just say, hey, I'm going to take the code vein stuff, skip all the walking, only keep fighting and 
uh, you know, fighting in cutscenes relevant, not so much as the exploratory part. Once you jump, you better be ready for a fight. Because the COV like giving up their prisoners about as much as a grog likes giving up a human shin bone. Time to jump. Good luck, Vault Hunter. Oh, uh, crap, I missed. I was trying to hide up top. Gunfights keep ruining my train of thought. Like I was saying before I died, I'm just gonna keep the episode simple, shorter, and go ahead and try to get that stuff going. Come on, fall, 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 fall. Dang it. And then he dies? Come on. It's been real, Vault Thief. Boom, anointed. <laughs> Hands up, fam. Vault Thief's come for the gunsmith. Secure the island. Watch out, Vault Hunter. It's one of those freaks. Back off, Vault Thief. You'll have to pry that gunsmith out of my gold dead hands. <laughs> Cause that's just not obnoxious at all. I'm immune to all damage. It's like that little kid on a high school playground or elementary school playground. It's like, oh, my power is to just absorb all yours and shoot her back at you. Nope. Why? Why is everything I touch on fire? That's literally broken. Hey, Mudlock, Moldock, whatever your name is. Damn fine slaughter. Sometimes you gotta take lives to save lives. There's a harsh wisdom to that. But damn it if it ain't true. Now figure out how to get Dalton out of there. There he is, the gunsmith himself. See if he's alright. Thank you, Vault Hunter. Those cultists were trying to force me to make guns for them. The last thing I wanted to do was arm those bastards. Jacob's guns what? belong in Jacob's hands. <sighs> Have this. Keep them a personal weapons cache. Take it. Just, uh, don't ask where I was hiding it. Ah, prison wallet. I'll I see. I'll make my way back to Reliance. See you there, Vault Hunter. Smooth operator. Glad to have Dalton back on our side. Swing by so I can thank you proper. <laughs> Don't forget to open Dalton's cash. You earned that. Alright, let's go ahead and open that gun cabinet. Well played, gun. Unless you're looking for trouble. Let's see. So where's that weapon cash? Okay, way, way, way out of the way. I'll go ahead and meet you over there. All right, we're in. Ooh, the dastardly hand of glory. 
Let's see. It's a nice Jacob's assault rifle, actually. Nice critical hit damage, nice melee bonus. I will gladly take it. Alrighty. Huh? I have a hand of glory? I somehow now have two? Interesting, I guess. Alright, let's just get rid of that for now. So I have two dastardly hands of glory now. A level 23 and a level 24. Nice. This one has critical hit damage increased 10. This has better reload speed and better weapon zoom. This one just has more damage. Less accuracy. Oh man, this is actually pretty cool. So begins the resistance. I gotta tell you. I've been all around this galaxy, seen darkness and savagery you wouldn't believe. But those Calypso twins and their followers? There's something else. Someone's got to stop them. And I'm thinking it just might be you. Be seeing you, Vault Hunter. There we go. Guns of Reliance complete. Ooh, and I got a, a little thing. The, 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 this. Desperado. Nice. Alright, so now I gotta go back to Hammerlock. And for that, all I have to do is go here and head over to Naughty Peak. Let's go. Good show, Vault Hunter. You certainly gave those bandits a walloping. Yes, tell your friends. While you freed Reliance from the grip of those COV devils, I got that damn record contraption working. Let's find out where the vault key's hidden. Will you do the honors, Vault Hunter? Alright, let's go figure out where it is. This might be the last words of Montgomery Jacobs. Hello. I'm drunk. Oh dear. I'm drunk, and I'm scared, boy. Those zealots are after the vaults, and they'll come for ours. Only a matter of time. So listen. The Grand Reserve, the Oily Graveyard, and the Family Jewel. That's where you'll find the key. Boy, the Jacob's Tree has stood for centuries. Don't let it fall now. Pa. I'll never forget your last words. Damn, nation! Oh, those gut rots chewing through me like a pig through a pile of apples. All right, that's enough. Now, the family jewel is my father's ship. Crashed out in the jungle not too long after his death. Go find the jewel, Vault Hunter. If my father's cryptic message is anything to go by, there ought to be a key fragment on board. Meanwhile, Alistair and I will investigate the other two clues. Ah, a trek deep into untamed lands. I'm envious, Vault Hunter. Why won't anyone pay attention to me? Sup, you chode toads. Having fun slumming it in paradise? Let us know when you've got that vault open, will ya? It was super nice to have my dinner waiting for me last time, you know? Later, Grendel Humpers. Oh, they get it, Troy. Swamp madness. All right. So, looks like we're off to the family jewel. However, I think I will leave this episode off here. We finished the reliance section. I will definitely do break that bag of Jacob's flour. I'm going to go ahead and get the next mission done in the next episode. So that, that way we actually have something to do. But yeah, as I mentioned previously, I will definitely still be doing everything else. I will go back to the Let's Retro soon, as soon as I get some of these Let's Plays done. Because the way I want to do it is I want to get these three done. And then I'll have it set up so that, that way I have one Let's Retro. One long Let's Play. So something along the lines of Code Vein or, you know, 
Kingdom Hearts 3, if I get and play that, where it's going to have to be a dedicated, you know, almost hour-long video of just recording. That's the kind of long Let's Play that I'm talking about. And then sh a one shorter game, something like Pokemon, where I can get a lot more done in 20 to 25 minutes than I could, you know, Kingdom Hearts or, you know, Disgaea 5. Something along those lines. I'd want to do a shorter Let's Play again. So I'll do one short, one long, and a Let's Retro, and that'll be the majority of my week. And then I'll have two Let's Chills and a sillier episode. So I'll have, you know, Let's Chill Maple Story or Let's Chill No Man's Sky. If I fix No Man's Sky, that'll be great because then I can continue my Let's, my Let's Chill series on that. Otherwise, it'll be on a temporary hiatus if I can't fix it. And then it'll just be Let's Chill Maple Story instead of No Man's Sky. So, other than that, then of course, like I mentioned, you know, the silly memeier episodes will also be happening. So, I'll have probably two of those a week. And then that'll have all the episodes for the week. But, other than that, guys, this will be the Afterlight finally signing out proper. I will catch you all here next time on Let's Play Borderlands 3. If you liked today's episode, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed and join the Curly Crew. I will catch you all here next time. I hope you all have a great and wonderful day.